Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today we're going to go down to Peru in the Nazca Lines, where all of these lines and geographs are drawn upon the earth on this great plain. See all this? And see all these different lines? On our channel, we've shown that these are all actually a blueprint for the earth, and that it all comes back to Jesus Christ. Once you wake up, you will realize that the earth is created, and that God has created all of the universe, and Jesus Christ is the Son of God risen from the dead. That everything around the world comes back to him, and the fight between the fallen angels and Jesus' inheritance of the earth, which we are all part of. These are all mapped out right here in front of us. We could spend a long time breaking these down. You can check on my channel. We have many, many different breakdowns of these different areas. But today we're going to show about Jesus' Ark. See all these different things? It's like a big blueprint. Once you break it all down. And today we're going to show about Jesus' Ark, which is right here. Can you see it yet? Looks like a big ship. It's the time of the students. We are the students here on the earth, and we are like a crop. And then we will go through this small area into the next age. The geniuses, the talents, those that Jesus has chosen and have been called to come to him to come to the next age. But you can see all that right there. Then as we've shown, part of the dog star Sirius is right here, which is part of the star of Bethlehem. Right there. And it's meant to carry us through, through the stars. Can you see the ark yet? We're going to actually show this here of Revelation 13. That this Revelation 13 beast, this dragon of Revelation 12. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered to devour her child as soon as it was born. As soon as it was born. Meaning the birth, just like an ark is birthed and all of us going up to the throne. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And there's the ark. See if you can see it yet. In Revelation 11:19, and the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in this temple the ark of his testament, Jesus Christ's ark. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. The time of a great earthquake will happen on the earth. You see the ark yet? There's the ship. The ark. How is this done? The whole earth is made and created. Like a giant story. Then you can see down here, part of the dog star Sirius. Part of the mother figure meant to carry us across. See right there? And the ark resting with her, as we've shown. For when the birth happens, this represents the birth. The ship is in a birth with the earth connected to the stars. The students are being harvested to go to the next age for your immortality. And now it says the dragon will be sitting at the feet. In, in math problems, this, this proves everything. When one thing is there perfectly, then the next thing is there perfectly, then the next thing is there in corresponding order in a perfect placement, it verifies each piece. One plus one plus one equals three. You know, that's the way that the proving the case works. And now you can see the dragon. See how the earth is created like this? Why is the earth created like this? God created all of the earth. And then the fallen angels came down and corrupted the earth. And then God brought the flood. 
The great flood covered the whole earth, trying to kill off the fallen angel's offspring. The Father created a new story for the time for when Jesus would come and redeem everyone. So this earth rose out of the flooded waters, and it's a big story. It has a beginning and an end. The story is, as God said, let them grow together until the harvest, and then they will be separated. And we will cut away the fallen angels and prepare everything for the real creation. This is actually almost a doomed planet. A, this, is, this is not the original creation. This is a time of a mistake, and it's being fixed. The mistake is Satan and a big part of the angels that went, rebelled against God. So this earth will be destroyed. It's meant to be. There is an old judgment coming between God and the fallen angels where God's going to punish them and destroy them. So you accept Jesus or you're going to burn up with them when God comes for his recompense on this planet to deal with the things that messed with him and his son. This is real. It, we're talking about grudgments between God and angels and wicked judges, as they talk of in the Bible, the wicked tenants that run this earth. So there's the ark, and there's the connection to the dog star, and there you can see the dragon trying to eat us as we are born, and we have to pass over him. So keep faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And now you know a little bit more. Now you know that there's an, actually a grudge between God and the fallen angels and the earth is stuck in between. Jesus is our answer. And then nobody's going to stop God's wrath. He's given these guys enough time. We don't know when it'll all begin, but let's pray that we're all safe when that happens. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. And to all the fallen angels and everything, there's no stopping the Father. You had your time. Be thankful for what you got. He's going to get rid of you. Hallelujah.